Hi everyone, uh, I'm coming back with a quick trick. Um, this is not very much with digital data, but you're gonna like that, and it will be very handy if you, you know, you have, you can have a lot of scenarios uh, where you want to make a little fun with the data and make it more lucrative. You know, have a Y factor uh, into your presentation. So let's get started. So I have this particular data. So uh, I want to add some certain text in that uh, that looks interesting. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have this particular sum of sales simply in here and I come into the appearance and I come into custom tooltip. You can do that anywhere you want to write a text, but I'm doing specifically here in the custom tooltip. So I went into the description and I write that total percentage of total sales. sales and I'm saying num sum of sales divided by sum of total sales so that you know I get that and that's kind of percentage in there that's it and I just need to add percent in here okay here we go and uh, if I see that I see you know 23 percent nothing fancy about it okay let's add some you know rather than having this number format let me add this number format you see I have this one and this is kind of a this is a symbol of you will just see that in here and uh, if I go to this mode, okay, you see, I have that symbol in there, and there is some issue. Let's just see what's the issue. Okay, we have an extra break braces in here. Oh, here we go. And here you see, you see that now I have that you know small sign. And you can as add many as sign as you want. Uh, but, but just before doing that, I want to also show you in this in here, you can add master items as well. I have created a master my year percentage of sales. So I'm just gonna cut it in here and I'm gonna add in here and you see the result is still the same. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that add an other expression and that is an even interesting one if percentage of sales is greater than 10% so I'm 0 0.01 then okay so now I can add emojis so here we go three good and else oh, I'm sad okay and let's see here we go oh it's a sad one this is a sad one this is a sad one this is a happy one good good job okay so you see so you can, you know, dynamically you can add as many as kind of expressions. I have can add emojis um, and you can just, uh, my keyboard uh, supported those emojis, uh, but you can copy paste them and you can copy other expressions or other symbols as well. Um, lower C than, red greater than from Excel or, uh, you know, supported thing. You can uh, emoticon now, a lot of symbols are being supported in emoticon, so you can use those symbols. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching.